welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sports Talk and the Success Table. I am Zach Barnett. Let's get into this interview today. But before that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our up-to-date content. Let's get into the interview. Definitely. So uh, with the transition to college football at Michigan State, that recruiting process for you and when did uh, you become the best offensive line in the country, man? And I know people know your story as it being dealt with steroids, right. but uh, it takes a lot on, on your body on mm -hmm. steroids. I, I've used them myself and right. it takes a toll on your, your organs and stuff. But yeah. when did you take those steroids and start becoming the best offensive lineman in the country and the process of co the college recruiting process right. for you? Well, it, it, um, and, and there's, there's a few questions there to address. The first, yes. I'll address the first one you had mentioned, and you're and you're spot on with the uh, the steroid. You know, there's obviously side effects, adverse effects to anything. Um, yes, sir. You know, steroids also, um, especially since they seem to be abused. Yes, right? sir. Um, but also the, in my opinion, the the one effect that steroid has or steroids have that are used as far as performance enhancing is the psychological effect. And I think that's like, as well as they work for physical strength and physical speed and stuff, I think they're more potent psychologically. Uh, so now you have kind of like a twofold thing to deal with. It can both be to your benefit if that's how you look at it, or it can both be to your detriment if that's how you look at it definitely you know so it, it, it's an it's an interesting topic and, and my first time i ever took them was like it was the last month of my senior year of high school so it was like may so i'd already gotten my scholarship to michigan state in like february i think i signed my letter of intent um and the only you know the only reason i took them was i could not get over a threshold of bench pressing a certain amount of weight and I think it was more psychological than anything. So I got on the small cycle of a very fairly safe steroid. And within two weeks, I was like, not only did I do that bench press, but I surpassed it by 10 or 15 pounds. So obviously I knew they worked. Um, and then as far as the, the college recruiting process, for me, you know, I really got lucky in a lot of ways there because Kent Roosevelt had like five players on the football team that were like, like, you know, I don't want to say all-star, but like tier one recruits in the country. That's so true. there was a lot of colleges coming to our, a lot of college recruiters coming to our football games to watch them. And, you know, my thing was keep my fingers crossed and hopefully I get noticed because they're watching them and they start asking questions hopefully about me and you know make a long story short that's pretty much what happened and and i got an offer uh to three or four different places and, and michigan state was the fit for me definitely so uh with michigan state what stood out about that college to you when you first stepped on the the campus you know what the 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 i would say the biggest thing was they were like they were real if that makes any sense they weren't you know it's a sales job i mean it, i don't want to say it's it's not a con it's not a but it's obviously a, they're trying to massage you know massage your thoughts and kind of be like this is where you want to come play because you get this this and this and all this and um, you know, we've been ranked X amount of times in the you know top 10 in the country and been to so many bowl games. And, and so it's a sales job. It's recruiting, right? It's so on a kid coming out of high school as a senior, you know, you're very influenced by certain things. Um, the thing I loved about Michigan State, and I won't talk about any of the other schools that I went to just because there were certain things that really turned me off about them. Um, but Michigan State seemed to be like, just like what you see is what you get. 
and we're kind of like we're blue collar we're, we're no nonsense we're in a rebuilding process they were only a year or two off of probation from the prior coach uh, for some violations i don't even know what the violations were they could have been recruiting i don't know what they were but um and then so that was a huge factor it felt right and they were real there was no bs everything they said was you know came true like i would see it um anybody i talked to that was a football player there or associated with the program or just in general they all kind of spoke that same language of no this is what we're about this is who we are and and it wasn't um it wasn't a facade uh the other factor was it was close to home it was only a five and a half hour drive to home in, in Canada. Um, another huge factor was uh, George Perlis, the head coach, who was a you know, defensive line, defensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 70s when they won their Super Bowls. So that was a huge factor. Like he knew, like he's been there. He's been to where I want to go, like that next level. So the way I looked at it was what better like place to go than to go where somewhere that somebody that's been there knows what it takes to get there. And we'll be honest with you and say, after a few years or whatever, like, look, you've either got to improve dramatically or you just don't have the ability to do it. Um, and, and, and he was blue collar, right? So, which is, you know, my, the kind of like family I grew up in and, um, and I associated with, and, and I felt comfortable with, and, and their offensive, and another factor, their offensive line were, their starting offensive line were all juniors going into their senior year. Not all of them, four of them, four of the five. So opportunity to play there, you know, would have been, you know, nice, like the, a better chance of starting um, so like there was all those factors involved, but the main factor is, you know, they were real, um, they were close to home and they're, they're coaching. Definitely. They're coaching. <laughs> so the, uh, <laughs> the area of Michigan state, what was some of your, your, uh, team bonding moments from that area, man? Oh man, there was so many. There was so <laughs> many, so many great guys. Uh, you know, I talked to one of my buddies the other day, who was my roommate. Um, I was a football player, John Buddy. Uh, he was a defensive end, so actually it was funny because he was my roommate, and we practiced like literally against each other almost on a daily basis because he was a defensive end and I was an offensive tackle. Um, and we we're just talking about how we miss those times, and and it's like. It's like, it's not like you want to live in the past, but you miss that camaraderie of, uh, you know, you sweat and you fight and you bleed and you work out and you're in those 90 degree days of, of two days and you're in the off season program together working out, uh, you know, you're constantly, you know, with a group of, you know, a hundred guys, some you're going to click with more than others and, and, and mesh with, but for the most part, I mean, they were a good core group of guys. And, uh, you know, that's something that I have not, I almost want to say, I don't want to say I've chased it, but I've not felt that camaraderie, um, since, since leaving Michigan state, even, you know, the NFL did, you know, have some of that, but it was definitely business. Um, it, there was still a lot of spirit and love for the game. And I think, but, I, but a lot of them were, are there just for the business and, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's okay. It's a, because it is a business and um, uh, it, it, it's definitely, <laughs> this will get me in trouble. It's definitely not a place to, um, push your political platform, in my opinion. Uh, you're there to play football. Just play definitely. football. Definitely. You, know? you don't have to go any further. I got right. you. Man. You know, it's like our, our coaches used to say, you know, when we would come up, like, 
somebody would come up with like, Hey, I think we should try this to like a coach. You know, I think this will work. <laughs> They'd look at us and be like, players play coaches coach, <laughs> which basically meant shut up and get back to practice. <laughs> I hear you. Man. This concludes our episode today, folks. We greatly appreciate the support. And if you're not a subscriber yet, Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our up-to-date content. And if you like this video, hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. We welcome you back next time.